What's mm. Bjork from Iceland up there, Mickey? She claims her ideal man is British nature expert Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> really? <laughs> the singer admits she grew up dreaming of a romantic night in the woods with Attenborough. She says, <laughs> I fancied him as a kid. Imagine what it would be like going out with a guy who could take you out into the woods at night and watch insects making love. Oh, well. Now, I'm slowly starting to work out where I've been going wrong all <laughs> these years. See, I've often thought that when it comes to a good date, girls wanted a nice dinner, a film, tickets to Michael Bolton, <laughs> when obviously what I should have been doing is buying a torch, booking a paddock and heading off in search of some horny crickets going at it hammering tongs. <laughs> What's all that about? Imagine turning up at Bjork's doorstep with some flowers. She'd slam the door in your face. You'd be standing there going, no, wait, Bjork, I think there's a couple of bugs rooting in one of the tulips. Hello? <laughs> You'd have more chance of turning up with a bug catcher. Imagine David Attenborough taking Bjork on a date. <laughs> They'd be out in the bush, crouched over an ant's nest with Sir David Gunn. Now remember, Bjork, you can look, but you can't touch. <laughs> How many times do you reckon she would have come home after a night out to find her father pacing around the house in his dressing gown going, Do you realise what time it is, young lady? Where have you been? Oh, down the hive? Oh, down the hive again. I've warned you about that meat market. What's going on down there? Ah, oh, nothing. The queen was having sex with some worker bees. Oh, a gangbang. Go to your room.